everyone, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen. This is take two, sorry about that. If you are watching the replay, please make sure you give me a hashtag replay. So hello everyone, welcome. Oh, Matthew, there's Matthew <laughs> down in the corner. So again, as you come in, please make sure you say hello. Sorry about if you jumped on the last live. A uh, phone call came in and it kind of cuts off my, my video as I'm going, so I apologize for that. For those of you that are new, welcome. I am Jennifer with uh, Let's Get Chalking with Jen. I am an independent master mentor with Chalk Couture. And if you don't know or have been looking at this page and you want to know what I'm talking about, let me tell you a little about what is Chalk Couture. So we are a revolutionary concept in DIY home decor and crafting. You will not find our products anywhere else. We offer a line of silk screen reusable transfers. We have a line of Chalkology chalk paste. Again, cannot buy it anywhere anywhere else on the market. It's done in-house. We also have a line of Couture inks, which is what we'll be doing today. And then we do offer several services like chalkboards, box wood frame, canvas pillows. Hey, Tony, welcome. Sorry if you hopped on the last one. I apologize. But the one nice thing is you can use our products on many other services. Wood, dry erase boards, ceramics all different kinds of things. Yay, I'm so excited. Can't wait for you to get it. And just like Tony talking about her kit, we do offer a ground floor uh, DIY home business opportunity for just $99. And it is absolutely amazing, you guys. I would love to share that. And as you're watching this video, if that's something more you wanna learn about, or you think you could absolutely do this, and believe me, everyone can, um, please make sure you comment opportunity or info below. I do have an opportunity group. I would be happy to send you the link where you can read all about it and learn what it is about Chalk Tour. That is such a craze. It's awesome. Where'd you go, babe? Well, my babe's gone, but he'll be back, I'm sure. So today, let me get this all set up. So I'm going to put myself up in the corner. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a pillow or a t-shirt. Well, guess what? We are going to do both. So I want you to see these are all silk screen reusable transfers. So you can use our transfers usually eight to 15 times. I've done more with one transfer as long as you care for it. But these are so awesome, you guys. Right on the back, it tells you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store your transfers because you can reuse them over and over again. So I thought, what a great way to show you. I'm gonna use one transfer on two different designs. So we are gonna start with our pillowcase. And by the way, the two surfaces I'm using, I'm gonna use a pillowcase and a t-shirt. So just a basic t-shirt, nothing fancy. Honestly, bought this at Michael's. Um, so just a regular t-shirt. And then just a basic uh, pillowcase. I think we bought this off of Amazon, but we do sell pillowcases at Chocotour. So again, make sure you say hello as you come in as I would love to welcome you. So let's get this started. Now, this is an item we do sell at Chocotour. And this is our ink mats. And I absolutely love these. Now, this is good for, obviously, if you have a thinner fabric, it's good for bleed through. But what I love is this. So I'm going to peel this off of here. And these are also reusable, you guys, over and over and over again. I can't tell you how many times I've used this. So I'm just going to unzip my pillowcase. And this is 18 by 18, by the way. I'm going to stick this right inside of here. Now this has, this has an adhesive side in here. So I don't know if you can hear that. So you want the adhesive side up. And this is what I love. So check this out. I can smooth this out. Number one, it's gonna hold my fabric in place of whatever I'm using so it's not gonna move on me when I'm doing my design. And it also gives me a nice flat surface. Look at that. Remember the creases? I mean, you can see them a little bit, but where I'm gonna ink, I don't have any creases. And that's why I love our ink mats. And you're gonna see the two, the two different ink mats that we do offer. All right, so I've got that all smoothed out. Okay, I'm just going to, you gonna say hi to everyone? Hi. See him back there? No, you guys can't see him that well. He's hiding over there. But our Matthew's here. I have a cold. He has a cold, again. Surprise. 
Oh, you have one? Okay. So I'm just removing my transfer. Now I'm going to, I did it again, Matthew. Hey, C.A. Lewis, welcome. I don't have a marker. That's okay. All right, so you always want to make sure you write on the back of your transfers. I obviously am not going to do it because I don't have my Sharpie nearby. I think I took it upstairs. Do because, it? do you mind, please? Where is it? Up on, actually, over in my bag over there, honey, there's a Sharpie in, in one of the orange bags. So you always want to write on the back of your transfer so you know what side is the back of the carrier sheet. Now, I always like to flip them over when I am removing the transfer. Thanks, babe. Mr. Helper. And I just like to rub my finger. Don't try picking at the corners because when people pick at the corners, they tend to pull up both sides. So I'm just going to rub my finger to try to pull up. There it goes. See? A corner of the transfer. Hey, Loretta, welcome. And then I'm just going to peel the carrier sheet from the transfer. And I'm going to set this aside because again, these are reusable. Now it has the adhesive side. I'm just going to stick this down on my surface. I want to make sure this is in the middle the best I can. If you want to measure, you can. I never measure. And then I'm going to smooth this out so I don't have any air bubbles in this silk screen. So where you can see through, that's all silk screen. That's where your chalk paste or your ink is going to go when you're doing your design. So you just want to make sure there's no air bubbles. Do, do, do. And if you guys have any questions as I'm doing this, please make sure you ask. Now I can tell you this transfer um, is currently unavailable and I, I apologize I'm doing that design. Um, we do have a lot of beautiful transfers for the, for the Christmas holiday on there. Uh, I didn't check before I decided to do this project with you, but it, this one should be back in stock, I think, next week. But we do have, like I said, we have a lot of great transfers available now as well. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, hey, Christina, welcome. How are you? So I'm going to take my ink. I'm going to be using white ink for actually both designs. And our ink comes in 24 different colors. I just want to get my lid off and I don't know if you could see the ink is definitely a different consistency than the chalk paste the chalk paste you always see gooky stuff around the side the ink you usually don't get that it's a lot smoother and a lot easier to work with I'm but I'm just going to get a little scraper and I'm going to scoop every, this is going to be completely white I'm just using white on this design I'm going to take my angled squeegee and I like this squeegee if I'm using it just one color because it's a lot quicker to pull it across. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull this across the silk screen area. Doesn't matter if I go up or down. I want to apply pressure as well because I want to make sure I get my ink inside the silk screen. And I'm going to need a little more. And then when I'm done with this, hey, Bonnie, welcome. We're going to clean this up and we're going to use it again on the t-shirt. What was that noise? What noise? <laughs> Maybe the washer downstairs or the dryer? Unless it's daddy's TV, babe. Or the pressure cooker. Oh, yeah, the pressure cooker, too. So, again, just pulling this all across trying to scrape off any of those lines the best I can. Now, when you're using the inks, because the inks are permanent, you want to definitely make sure you're not going outside of your transfer because it's, it's again, it's a permanent ink and it's it tends to be very hard to get off if you can't even get it off. Scraping off any excess because I don't need it. Okay. Just going to set this aside. Are you guys ready to peel and reveal? Just want to make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers. I'm going to set my towel aside because I'm not going to actually put this in water to clean this off because I'm going to use it again right away. All right, are we ready? 
gosh, I hope this turns out. Oh gosh. <gasps> Look guys. Look how awesome that is. Ta-da! Look at that. How awesome is that? Wow. Can I get some hearts and, and thumbs up and stars or whatever you want to give me? A share. I love shares. That's the greatest compliment you can give me is a share. But look how amazing that looks, you guys. So amazing. Now, we want to make sure that we heat set this. So I'm not going to do it on video today. But to make this permanent, all I would do, I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes. I don't have parchment paper, babe. Um, I would get a piece of parchment paper, lay it over top, and then I would iron it on both sides for four minutes. And that's going to make my design absolutely permanent. So how cool is that? Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. Well, thank you, guys. I love it. And then I am going to get my t-shirt. Well, no, before I do that. So instead of putting this in water to clean this up, because I want to use it again as quick as I can, I'm just going to get Clorox wipes and I'm going to wipe off my ink on both sides. So I'm just getting Clorox wipes. I'm going to wipe this off. Okay. I'm going to turn this over. I want to wipe this side off because I want to get the ink that's on the back of there off of there before I stick it on the t-shirt. Okay. Hey, Miranda. Hi, Mary. Rebecca. Hey, Pam. Gail. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you love it so far. All right. So I'm going to put this over really quick. Am I dropping it, babe? Yeah. I'm just going to set this off to the side real quick while I get the t-shirt set up and I'm going to let that dry a little bit. So now... I just have a basic t-shirt. Again, nothing fancy, regular everyday t-shirt. I actually bought this from Michaels. Okay, now this is our other ink mat that we offer. This is actually one really long piece of an ink mat. And then what they did this for is for you to be able to cut it. So I cut mine um, just pretty much in half. But like you could do this with dish towels you could do a table runner. I don't know. What else can you think of? All different types of things you can do. So I cut this and I'm just, again, going to peel. And these are also all reusable. I'm going to peel that right off of there. I'm going to stick this right inside my t-shirt. So again, if you guys are watching this and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I totally want to do this or I totally can do this. Please let me know as I'd love to share that with you. I'd love to share the opportunity with you. Or if you are interested in purchasing, you can go right to my website at chalkinwithjen.com and see all the amazing transfers, the chalk paste, the couture inks, because we do have so many different products available right online. All right. So I just want to... Again, smooth this out. It's nice. It gives me my nice, great surface. Hey, Lisa, welcome. Thanks for watching. And that's why I love it. See, now my fabric where I'm going to chalk is not going to move, right? So that's why I love these ink mats. All right. What, honey? I thought it was just to make it flat. No, it also helps bleed through. So now what I want to do, this is still a little bit wet. So I'm just going to take a towel and kind of wipe this off and what's what what oh my gosh I can't talk the Clorox that you use actually reactivates the adhesive okay so when you would normally let this sit out to dry before you put your carrier sheet back on but I wanted to use this right away because I wanted to show you how cool this is that you can reuse our transfers over and over again so I'm just wiping off the best I can any excess water. And I think we're okay. So let me just turn it over real quick. So let's 
see how our bear turns out on our t-shirt. Isn't it cool? It's it's so cool, Tony. I just completely fell in love with this after I got my starter kit. I bought the kit sight unseen and I just I've been doing it ever since and I absolutely love it. So I'm lining up my design in the middle with kind of like the middle of the v-neck. Hey Sherry, welcome. Once again, just going to smooth this out so that there are no air bubbles in my silk screen. Felt like there was something under there. Sorry guys. Okay, smoothing that out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen area. Okay, going to get my ink again. I'm just going to use white. Scoop a bunch out, stick it on there. I'm going to take my angled squeegee and again just pull it across the silk screen area. So if you guys have any questions as we're doing this, please feel free to ask. I would love to answer that. Let's see, can you do that with the paste too? Reuse what? Yeah, Miranda, you absolutely can. Um, the same thing, you would just, instead of submerging it in the water to clean it off, you would just use the Clorox wipe. Um, now being that you're gonna be putting your transfer uh, on more of a, um, like a surface like wood or a chalkboard, I would definitely fuzz it up a lot more. Being that I'm already putting this on fabric, obviously it would have fuzz, so I didn't really need to fuzz this up like I would if I was using it on a surface. Okay, just scraping off my excess, no need to waste it. Roy well, makes it look like I don't have a shirt. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Yeah, the light's really bright behind you, buddy. Makes me look like I don't have a shirt, which gives me an idea. Okay, so scraping off the excess. Let's see how this one turns out, you guys. Are we ready for our peel and reveal? Making sure I don't have any ink on me because I don't want to get that on my shirt. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Yee! Look at my berry. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, you guys, how awesome. It's, it's really sticky. That's the difference. It's really sticky like the second use, you guys. Can you hold that down up there up the top? Thanks, honey. Oh, he's so cute. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm just going to stick this in water this time because I am going to clean it off with water and my Clorox wipes. Hold on, let me get this out of your way, you guys. Look how great he looks on my t-shirt. Oh, it's stuck back there. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how awesome that is. How cute is that going to be? You just sell kits to do this, right? Claudia, we actually sell, we have a kit as a starter kit, like a business kit for $99, or you can just purchase products right on my website. So if you would go to chalkinwithjen.com, you would hit shop, and it's going to pull up all the different transfers we have. You can see all the surfaces we have. You can see our ink paste. You, you can purchase them all individually that way as well. Or if you want, you can be a designer like me for the $99 and then, you know, you can do this as a business, do the videos like this. I do a lot of workshops local to me um, and then we do get a very generous discount. So what do you guys think? Do you love it? Check this out. So we have our pillowcase. Here's our pillowcase. And then here's our t-shirt, you guys. Super awesome, right? And like I said, what you're going to do, oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Kelly. What you'll do, you'll get a piece of parchment paper. <sighs> I got dog hair on this one. You'll get a piece of parchment paper. You'll put a piece of paper on the top and underneath. You're going to iron it on both sides for four minutes. 
and that'll make your design permanent. So this will be able to go in the washer and dryer. Same with this. I'll be able to spot clean it or wash it, whatever I want to do. Once you heat set your inks, they do become permanent. So I hope you guys love it. You got to get a double project tonight, a t-shirt and a pillow. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you guys so much for the love. And again, if you absolutely love what you see, please make sure in the bottom left-hand corner of your mobile devices you do share. We would appreciate it. And you guys have a great evening. You're welcome, Pam. Happy chalking.